Hello there guys, today we're going to be working in Adobe After Effects to make a cool video intro. It will turn out like this. Sorry it's so slow, it's just of the speed and the quality and everything. Right, and that's what we're going to be making. Okay. As you can see, I have a lot of text there, but, uh, here. Uh, I'll just put two bits of text in to show you what to do and so I don't bore you to death with adding all text is it this is can be quite laborious but after a while it pays off okay so first make a new composition say about 15 seconds or something depending on how much text you want okay now just click OK now go to new layer well layer then new then solid then change color to black then click make comp size okay now right click here new text then type whatever you want in my case I'll put clan wug okay uh, I'll add presents there actually there we go space it in to make it roughly even now I'll put it it doesn't really matter where you put it because it's going to change anyway. Drop down this box, transform. Then we want to make the anchor point in the middle. As you can see, the anchor point is this thing here. And then you want to make it in the middle roughly. And then if you go down to position here, move it along so it gets about in the middle. Unless you don't want it in the middle and you want it flying off to a side. Sorry, I got a bad cough today. <coughs> uh, okay, that's that part. Now, we want to start it at quite big so you can see it. And then hit the stopwatch. Okay. Now, if we move it, a few frames, not very, very many, depending on how fast or slow you want it to fly in. Uh, click on that and then type in 100 and press enter. Okay. Now if you have them really close together like that, it's going to fly in pretty quick, like that. But if you move them quite far apart, like over here, it's going to fly in pretty slow. It all really depends on what effect you're looking for. Okay, But in my case, I want it to go pretty fast, so I'll move it back to here. Okay, and now uh, you're probably thinking like, so where does that text go? Well, all you do is, once it's there, we get another keyframe at about here, and then click on there once, type in zero, press enter, so you can't see it. Okay, now don't, and then, right, click play, and you can see it slowly disappears into the background. Now, we want to close this uh, option box, right click here, new, text again. And then we'll go Call of Duty 5 World at War. Okay, that's nice. Roughly same length as well, so we don't need to fiddle with that. Uh, just do the same as you did with the last one. Transform, uh, anchor point, want it in the middle, pretty much in the middle as much in the middle as you can get it sorry there we go and along a bit that'll do okay now I wanna as before move the position there we go position in the middle roughly there we go okay and now we wanna scale it again so move we see the text fly in when it gets to gone or just after it's gone we want to scale it up again so you can't so it just sees the black okay now hit the stopwatch now move it a few frames again depending on how fast you want it I don't mind to be fast so I'll only move it a few click on the box once type in 100 press enter or return okay now we have this okay and then you'll probably want it to be pretty much the same so 
we will move it uh, so it goes straight out the back like the other one. So type there, zero, enter. Okay, now we have this. But it's still a bit boring the background, so what I'm gonna do is close this layer, click on the black solid three, or the black solid or whatever, go to effects and presets, animation presets, backgrounds, and go down till you get red speed. Here. Now put it hold on, sorry. Now put this in the background, okay. Now I've got this. It's like a moving background effect. It kind of looks 3D as well. If you can see there. Okay. Now go back to the beginning. Go on. Call of Duty World of War text. Now play this. Sorry, it's so laggy. Okay. That's that. Now, to get the sort of breaking effect, which you might or might not want, you go new, solid, doesn't really matter what color you make it, make comp size, that's quite important that you press that. Okay, now, I want to go effect, simulation, oh, well, there's lots of effects, but simulation, shatter. Now, as you can see, it looks kind of funny with them weird bricks. Okay, now we go rendered so that it shows you this and as you can see the text comes flying through but also it's quite important to make sure that you have the red speed background on this layer as well so that when it breaks you don't see black things at the side like so like this it'll still be red speed at the side okay now we want the shape to be, uh, well, my preferred is glass, and then that's all you need to do really, so let's take a look at that. Hold on, it doesn't want to play for you or me. Okay, it seems the glass hasn't worked for me today, so click on that layer, delete it, and start this layer again. Okay, new solid make comp size okay i think it's because i put the red spe uh, speed on after shatter okay red speed okay now effect uh simulation shatter uh i'm going back to uh glass sorry <coughs> i'm going back to glass because that's my favorite and as you can see it's some stupid wired thing so we'll go to rendered now as you can see as that smashes the text comes through which is quite cool okay that's that done really uh, if you want to get it into your favorite editing program all you have to do is file export and then export as a file you want okay so for me my Sony Vegas broke at the moment, I got an Internet Explorer script there, so I just use Windows Move Maker for now. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. That's my tutorial. Subcri uh, subscribe to stay updated for tutorials. This was requested by Cardboard Box Kid. So, thanks to him, and see you all later.